All right, YouTubers, we got excitement for you. For those of you who are usually watching my channel for our motorcycle repair videos, this is going to be a little different. But fear not, I haven't given those up. I'm just uh, doing this little side project here to keep myself busy. Not that I don't have enough to do, right? So in my infinite wisdom, I've decided to make a model ship. And this is going to be a little bit different in that it's going to be entirely made out of metal. Um, way back when, when I was much younger, I was in the Coast Guard. And I spent four years aboard a Coast Guard cutter called the Coast Guard Cutter Arundel. Um, this is an old ship. It was built in 1939 and it was decommissioned in the 80s. It's long forgotten. It's, uh, it's nothing fancy. It's not a warship. It's not one of those fancy cutters. It's not even one of those neat patrol boats on there. What it is, is an old ice-breaking tugboat. Uh, it saw service taking ships across the North Atlantic during the Big War. It spent the rest, uh, not the rest, but a portion of the time in New York and Boston. It's service on the Great Lakes, primarily search and rescue and breaking ice for iron ore freighters. This ship is still afloat. As a matter of fact, it was sold to a marine construction company up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. So what is going to be unique about this project, at least from my perspective, if you check out YouTube, there's thousands of videos on model shipbuilding, but there are very few, if any, on making metal ships or ships from metal. Most of them are woods, plastics, that type of thing. So I'm kind of running into the unknown here. Why metal? I have no idea. It's something different. So a couple of caveats on this as I go through there. First of all, I know this is going to take a while, mainly because of the size of this thing. Keep in mind, I am not a metal worker. I can't weld worth a crap. I do have some experience working with model ships, but primarily plank on frame, the wooden kits that you see all over the place on YouTube. Fun to build, but this is something that is going to be a bit different. I think I mentioned it, but I don't even know what I don't know as I'm getting into this. It's going to be a static model or a station, stationary model. I've decided to make it 3 8 inch to 1 foot or a 1 32nd scale. That's going to make the model about 42 inches long. For you purists, keep in mind I am building this off of plans. I'll show you the plans as we go through this. But again, not being a metal worker, and this is not going to be made for the Smithsonian or anything like that. But I'm going to try and keep it to a tolerance of about 1 16th of an inch built off the plan. As I mentioned, I don't even know what I don't know, but we'll figure it out as we go along on this. And I've got no desire to get into remote control with it. However, saying that, I plan on making a few accommodations within the hull of framing, a propeller shaft, that type of thing um, for remote control in the future should somebody down the road want to acquire this thing and convert it to some sort of remote control on there. So let's get started with this. I'll show you where I'm at and what I've done so far, what I've acquired and how I've gotten to this point.
Thank you.